Irrigation designs come in all different shapes and sizes. Some also come with very tricky scenarios when accounting for existing and future demands. For this, we say put a cap on it. In your irrigation manager, under auxiliary equipment, you will find the cap option. You will have two main options to pick from, a pipe cap, which holds a demand for the system to calculate, and a system monitor, which will allow the system to determine what you have available at a given point. Each has an existing and future use option. The only difference here is whether or not the line work will show up when plotting your design. Need a high level look at sizing your main line before laying out each zone? Pipe two or place caps directly onto the main line with the desired demand. After you have placed all caps needed, size your main line and see the system size according to the given demands. For larger development projects, treat these caps like submeters. Placing each cap into an area will represent the overall demand for that parcel. If several area demands are the same, simply copy that cap around as needed. Run your mainline routes from your POC to each cap, size your mainline, and see the system size based on each parcel's demand. The contractor can use the given cap numbers to design the irrigation system at the landscape level, knowing the infrastructure will hold up. All of this is done without the need of placing heads or valves. When dealing with a site that has existing irrigation that needs accounting for, put a cap directly after the valve and input the required demands of what that cap is representing. Pipe that cap back to the valve with the lateral pipe tool and size the valve accordingly. You now have the accurate flows and pressure required for that valve without needing to place all existing heads for that zone. If you ever need to change the demand numbers, simply double click the placed cap and adjust as needed. Resize your laterals or mainline to see the respective changes. Use our system monitor to check what pressure and flow availability you have in your mainline. Whether placing this system monitor onto a standard or loop system, when you size your mainline, watch as the system auto-fills the system monitor with the flow and pressure that is available at that given point. Whatever equipment you decide to try out, make sure to check out our additional symbol options that hold ID attributes. These will make it clear on your plan as to what cap or monitor the system is referring to as it pertains to the given schedule. Land effects, bringing efficiency to your workflow.